functional programming has gotten more popular on the web recently, with state-driven UI frameworks like React encouraging that kind of programming pattern. In this mini-series, I want to kickstart you with short explanations of the functional array methods that JavaScript has. The two most basic and arguably most important functional array tools are map and filter, both of which are methods on an array and create new arrays with specific properties. Filter applies a function, also called a predicate, to each element in the array and only keeps the items where the predicate evaluates to true. For example, if you have an array of input fields, you might want to filter out all the input fields that don't have a value typed into them. Map also applies a function to each element in the array and replaces the original value in the new array with the return value of that function. And that might sound a bit arcane, but it is extremely powerful. So for example, after filtering down our list of input fields, we can now stop working on the entire DOM element and instead create JSON objects per element that contain only the bits of information that we actually need. So for example, the field's name and the field's value. So whenever you're working with collections, map and filter come in incredibly handy. See ya. Two array methods down, many more to go. If you find this interesting, you should subscribe to this channel so we can send you a notification when the next episode is out. But until then, why not watch some more Supercharged?